Are you gonna tell me where you went? All the messages I sent with no reply It's like that You're just gonna walk into my... Hello my kings and queens, welcome to my channel Goddess of Whispers, it's your girl Karen and I am so excited to welcome my Scorpios back to my channel. If you are a Knight, K-N-I-G-H-T watcher, welcome to our royal family. I do want to let you know this is a general love reading. This reading may or may not resonate with all of my kings and queens, so take what does and leave the rest. If this reading does not resonate, please check with your sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements. Also, the energies or the roles in my readings may be interchangeable, so apply yourself as you see fit. Don't forget, if this reading does resonate, don't forget to click like, share, subscribe, and click the bell to get future notifications when your girl will be uploading another video. Keep in mind too, guys, by you liking, subscribing, and sharing, it helps the channel out so, so much. And you never know who can use this message as it helps to circulate the video. All right, so as you know, your weekly does come with an extended, okay? In the extended, we dive deeper into the message. Um, the Everything you need to access the extended is in the description box below. There's two options. There's the membership option for the same $5. You'll be able to access all Zodiac signs placements for that month, um, or you can still pay that same $5 just to access the one-time uh, reading that resonated with you. Okay. And anything else you need to know about the channel is in the description box below. All right, let's dive into your message. My Scorpios, how are you guys doing this week? It is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day, or at least I should say it was a beautiful day. I hope you guys are manifesting and I hope all of your dreams are coming to fruition for you. Let's dive into your energy. What's going on with my Scorpios this week? Sun, moon, rising in Venus to the highest light for the purest good. What's the energy here? Spirit, clean and pure messages calling on my ancestors. What's the energy here? It's the purest light. What's the energy? What's the energy? What's the energy? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So we have realization. We have patience. We have the path. We have growth. We have pleasure. And then we have power. Okay, strong energy coming through. Um, at the bottom of the deck, we have surrender. Okay, so this is all about you releasing something, okay? Strong energy about you releasing something. Whether it's someone out of your life, maybe moving forward towards past a uh, past job or whatever the case may be, but you're moving away from something and moving onwards. Okay, this is all about persevering, moving forward, forward movement. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of growth here within you. You know, this is about you taking action. Okay, change was needed in the situation. I feel like you were feeling stagnant, but now you are no longer feeling stagnant. You know, this is all about you persevering and pushing forward, releasing negative energies, enjoying life, enjoying life for what it is, you know, staying in the moment. Okay, I feel like you know, this is something that's been a long time coming. For some of you, you're not quite there yet, but be patient because you will get there. What uh, may seem cloudy right now is going to start to clear up for you. There's going to be a lot of clarity uh, being restored to you. Out of nowhere, you're going to have this realization. You're going to realize something. This is all about self-examination, looking within yourself you know, your part or your role in the situation, that's when things are going to start to be very clear to you. Once you start to, to do the um, self introspection here, okay? Um, going through that type of flow, self-love, surrendering or releasing control of a situation as well. Realizing that you don't have control over everything or everyone, okay? Uh, this is about you stepping into your power too. You know, no longer hiding who you truly are. You know, if you've been hiding it before, you're not hiding it anymore. Or not going to want to hide it anymore. This is all about growth. This is you growing into who you truly are as a person is the energy here. Okay? Strong, strong um, energy of you releasing negativity. And just now enjoying life for what it is. You, it's almost like you coming into this energy of like, is either you love me or you don't. Period. Is either you love me or you don't. And if you don't, bye. You know, life goes on. I'm telling you, this strong energy that's coming through here, my Scorpios. I mean, you you just fed up at this point. It's this strong energy here. You know, you coming into the realization of who the fuck you are. You know, excuse my French, but that's what it is. This is you coming into that power. Okay? You know, realizing who you are. You know, if you've lost it along the way, no, that's coming back. Okay? 
strong strong energy let's see what this is all about you know what who got you fired up my scorpio somebody got you fired up you hot <laughs> you hot what's going on with my scorpios oh my man from last week to this week you already hot you hot somebody's energy here i'm picking up on is just like they had enough like you know take me for who i am or take me for what i am you know you don't like it then kick rocks pretty much strong energy you push it forward with or without them okay or without without the situation all right yeah look at the page of swords coming out what are the energies you could tell me here clarify this energy further spirit someone rising in venus what is this about tell me tell me tell me what's going on with my um scorpios thank you thank you thank you we have the seven of swords yes this is all about clarity clarity coming back to you yeah boss up uh, nine of nine of pentacles the seven of wands okay this is all about growth queen of cups releasing things yeah ace of cups this is about loving you pushing forward the bottom of the deck we got the queen of pentacles this is you bossing up into this energy okay the queen of pentacles is someone who is very generous very loving very nurturing you know even a healer within their own right okay someone who is very independent they, they make shit happen from nothing okay this is a boss person okay she a bad mama jam i'm telling you okay but i'm seeing you releasing some type of energy here okay i feel like there's a lot of emotions that's going through you right now you're figuring things out i feel like before there was some type of clear um, um confusion here you know um on your life path okay there could have been a lot of options and situations okay or maybe you feeling like you can't just dis make dis a decision about something you know but you will i feel like there's been temptation along the way as well I'm seeing things are going to start to clear up for you in divine timing. Also with this page of swords energy, strong energy about you, you know, looking into something for more than looking into something for more than what it is. Okay. This is strong, restless energy that I'm sensing here too, with this page of swords. Okay. This is all about something's coming in here towards you and you're going to come into the realization of something. You know, something's going to start to show up here for you. Maybe you're, I don't know, something about walking on thin ice here. And take it as it resonates. Something about walking on, on a thin thread or thin ice, something like that. Or walking on eggshells around something, feeling like you can't do or say something. I don't know, something here about something coming to light as well. Strong, strong energy. But nonetheless, that whatever it is that's making you feel confused, or feeling like you don't know what to do, things are going to start to change. Your path is gonna be busted wide open for you. Like all of a sudden you're gonna have this epiphany, like you're gonna know what to do. I'm seeing a lot of growth here within you too with the seven of wands energy. This is you standing your ground, protecting your energy, protecting your bubble, okay? Pushing forward, okay? This is about you healing and, and going through some type of vibe, some type of flow here within yourself, but it's also about growth, inner growth. I'm seeing you're starting to release things that no longer serve you. You're starting to enjoy life for what it is, okay? There was an emotional tie here to something that you just needed to release, okay? It became too much for you, became too stressful, okay? But I'm seeing with this Ace of Cups, this can mean new love coming in, guys, or this could mean this you loving yourself more. Okay, I'm seeing you regaining your power back here, but we're going to dive in further. Spirit, what can you clarify the Page of Swords, the Seven of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands, and the Queen of Cups? Tell me more, tell me more. And the Ace of Cups. Tell me more about this um, situation, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so we got the Page of Wands. Thank you. Clarifying the Page of Cups. Interesting. All right. I'm sorry. Clarifying the page of swords, page of wands, clarifying the page of swords. Okay. So that could mean communication. We have the page of cups here as well. Okay. So this could have some confusion about some type of love matter. Okay. Maybe waiting for someone to come in here and communicate with you. <coughs> sorry about that, guys. Let's clarify this nine of pentacles. Let's dive in deeper. Why is this nine of pentacles here? Tell me more about this nine of pentacles. What's the energy here? Last shuffle, last shuffle. All right, so we have, okay, this is about you celebrating, okay? Yup, taking a break from someone. Yup, there was a lot of conflict here between you and this person. You released it. And you're now in this, look at this, the Ace of Cups clarifying the fucking Ace of Cups. 
Yup, this is about you pouring back into yourself, but this could also be strong, strong love news. Okay, I feel like with this page of swords, you had a conversation with someone. Okay, I feel like you, someone, there was something here with you expressing yourself to someone, fig, um, figuring something out. Something came to light here, but you had a conversation with this person. Okay, whatever it was that you found out, you had a conversation with this person, you moved on. I feel like someone here was very childish or very immature. Okay, take it as it resonates. Very, very immature behavior. Um, strong energy of that. But I'm also seeing here um, with the Seven of Cups and this Page of Cups, this is all about, you know, being confused about love matters. Okay, so whoever this person you were dealing with, you could have been dealing with a water, water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, that's your own energy. Or you could have been dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or a Sag Sagittarius. <clears throat> But I feel like you're confused about some type of love matter or you had to make a decision about a love matter. You had a conversation with somebody that you figure something out. But nonetheless, you move forward. This is about you celebrating and moving forward, working on you, working on your money, working on your finances, going on a new path. Leaving someone behind here with the seven of wands and the four of swords. This is about growth, inner growth, you know, standing your ground about a situation, protecting your bubble, protecting your energy. Okay. I feel like, you know, there was an argument here. There was definitely an argument here between you and this person. You released it. Okay. There was some type of, it was a, it was a conflict here. Chaos. Okay. But emotionally you're releasing it. You can't, you just, you, you got fed up. You couldn't do it anymore. I feel like this Ace of Cups has a lot of energy. It's a lot to do with you taking your power back. You know, you refilling your cup you know, elsewhere, you could have been maybe offering your love to someone else. Maybe after this person, you left them and now new love is coming in your way or came in your way. We have the strength card here at the bottom of the deck. Okay. So I'm feeling strong energy that strength was needed here in the situation as well. Okay. Um, but I want to know more about this Ace of Cups. Tell me more. Tell me more. Why is this Ace of Cups here twice? What is this about? Tell me more. One more card. And then we're going to close off and go into the extended. Tell me more. Okay, so yeah, this is all about a past person. Look at that. The Six of Cups is here. This is all about a past person. So this could mean that this is you um, taking your love from a past person and now giving that love to yourself. Or for some of you, this could be a past person wanting to come back in. Okay. This could be a past person. It doesn't mean it has to be this same person, but strong energy of someone from the past okay and take it as it resonates okay strong strong energy here look at this the star star cards here at the bottom of the deck okay this could be you pouring your love out from this person you know saying to yourself you can't do it anymore you know this is all about healing feeling content about something strong strong energy here guys but nonetheless, you're going to want to meet me over in the extended, guys. We're going to dive deeper into this energy. We're going to find out why we got this Ace of Cups here twice. Who is this past person? Is this your past person that you were dealing with the whole time? Or is this someone completely new from your past that's coming back in to offer you new love? We're going to dive into this energy stronger into the... Um, in the extended guys we're going to go over the outcome of the situation what action is needed here if this is indeed your past past person that puts you in this space you know what is it that they're not telling you how are they truly feeling about you and if this is a new love coming in your way maybe somebody from your past it could even mean a past life person you know we're going to dive into what's this person's true intentions and we're going to see exactly who this person is okay and then we're going to close out with some advice from spirit so you are going to want to meet me over in the extended guys i will see you there till next time Bye. I guess you're back. Are you gonna tell me where you went? All the messages I sent with no reply.